All right, what's going on guys? We are out here working on a two-speed American Standard heat pump. You see we've got a set of contactors instead of just one. So we've got a low speed down there, high speed up here. We've got two capacitors, a 35 microfarad down there. Of course, we've got our start cap there. And then we have another capacitor up here, which is a 10 microfarad. And you would think, okay, well, that's running the fan. Well, it's not because the fan is variable speed, no capacitor on there. What's actually going on here, this 10 microfarad gets added into the circuit whenever you switch to high speed. The unit's going to start up in low speed. It's going to run for a few minutes. Then the contactor is going to disengage. It's going to sit there for, you know, 45 seconds or so. That's going to kind of let the pressures equalize on the unit. And then it's going to engage the high speed contactor. And when it does that, it actually puts both of these capacitors in line together. So it's going to make it a total of 45 microfarads. And that's how it's getting its high speed. And this 10 microfarad is reading weak very weak i think it was like 4.2 on the meter so we're on there and where are we at yeah here we are 4.3 can you see that got a glare all right so that baby is low so that's only coming into play in high speed our 35 microfarad was okay so we're going to go ahead and swap that out and that way when we're in high speed we're going to be pulling our full 45 microfarads and you can see our model and serial number here this is a heritage 18 2005 unit four ton it is a r22 all right so I'm going to go ahead and grab a new capacitor, stick that on there. So I'll be right back. All right. So always make sure to check these capacitors before you put them back on there. Didn't have to do that back in the old days, but you do now. And that one is reading 10 on the money. A lot of times you'll find a brand new one that's already weak. So we'll put the big jar on there and see what we come up with all right so we got the new capacitor mounted on there i try to be a good boy and mount it to where you can see the microfarad there so the next guy doesn't get on me that comes behind me and i do like to date my parts i'm just kind of a fanatic about that and you know when you're you're taking these things on and off they will get spread apart there make sure you take your needle nose and crimp them back down good if they get all loosey-goosey on you don't just stick them back on there you know because then you're going to create a little high load right there with it being loose your wire is going to get hot and it's going to start to melt and burn whatever and we don't want that burnt wires are no good all right so those are on there good and tight Yep. All right. So we look good here. We'll go ahead and fire this thing back up. We got some solar power over here behind me. Sun power. Light wave solar getting it done all right so the fan ramps up slowly compressor kicked on and see we were already in high you can see by the button there that low is not engaged we've already gone through the low and engaged high speed 
when I pulled the disconnect, that's what we were running in was high speed. So right now, both of these capacitors are in line. The 30, 35 down here is in the circuit with the 10, giving us the 45. And now we're cooking with grease. We'll let these pressures come up to where they need to be. It's about 70 degrees out here. We're starting to get some fairly hot weather this weekend. I'm near the racetrack here in Bristol, the last great Coliseum, as they call it, the Bristol Motor Speedway. The race is in town this weekend. You used to not be able to even get near that place, but now they can't hardly give tickets away, man. Nobody's interested in the racing no more. None of the kids like it. That's not their kind of thing, you know. Those, those are not cool race cars. That's grandpa's race car. They want the little Japanese cars with the loud mufflers. So racing's having a hard time, but at least Bristol's gonna have a pretty good race this weekend weather-wise. They have been getting rained on every time. They actually moved it a month ahead because they would have the race and it would snow. So they, they moved it here to April and then it never fails, guys. I mean, it, it's just a, a curse. It rains on that race every year. A lot of times they can't even run it until the following Monday or something, you know, but they are gonna have real nice weather this weekend. It's probably gonna get up close to 80. So race fans are gonna be loving that. And this heat pump's gonna be loving its new capacitor. It's gonna be feeling a lot better. All its aches and pains are going to go away because it was running low and high speed. So the compressor is going to be feeling a lot better. Compressor might even send me a Christmas card this year because it's so happy. So we got about 84 on the discharge. We're still coming up there. I had it on earlier before I disconnected and the pressures were looking pretty good. Might have to squeeze a little smidge in there, but it was a little better than that earlier, so we're gonna let it run for a while. Uh, suction, about 46, 47. So super heat's definitely looking good. He's actually got the doors and windows open here. One of them guys that doesn't really run the air conditioner much. He did have the heat on, so it was kind of hot in the house and doors and windows are open. And by now it's probably up to about 72 in there. So this one doesn't give me a sub coolant on here because it is two speed and variable and all that kind of stuff, so they don't really have a set sub cooling that they go by. You have to look at the chart and you've got your little bar graphs and you got to be above or below the line and calculate your formula and all that good stuff. So we don't have like a set 10 degree sub cooling or anything like that on this one. So look at that, baby. 17 pounds of 22 liquid gold in there, baby. Hope she don't ever spring a leak. <laughs> Gonna be hating life. Adding 17 pounds back into this monster. But we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, you guys. That's all I've got for you today. As always, I appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment below, like, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.